Right, so, we are back here. I'm going to turn our... Actually, all I'm going to do is switch to that view. That's a bit better, because now I'm just down here. Um, so, let's start by getting some track down. Remember, always reselect your track down here, and always select track from that option. That way you won't have any problems. So if we click that... I don't need two track for this test. We'll just do single track. And we'll lay a piece of straight. We'll lay... A curve, we'll let a counter curve, we'll straighten it out. There you go. We have we have some imaginative track. Now what I'm gonna do is <coughs> break all the rules and we're gonna have a um a water trough going around the corner, because you know that, that seems reasonable. Um so how do you lay a water trough? Well it's actually really, really simple. So you use the uh select tool up here in the top corner and you select where you want the water trough to be, so let's put it there. Use the offset tool, and let's set the offset to uh, 0 0.01, so it's in the middle. And we will go to, trying to remember where it is, is it under wall? Yeah, EK water trough, and then you just select. It doesn't really matter which arrow gets selected, and the water trough will appear. And that is a water trough automatically lofted for straights, curves, everything that you've got selected there. So that's the water trough put in. At this point though, it's just scenery. It doesn't actually work. Um, so what you do now is we go back to the house. We go to the flag, I think. No, it isn't. Somewhere down here is... Try to remember where it is now. There it is, water trough marker. So you, you get with this thing, and you put it at the beginning, so I'm going to say about here, and then it, it has two links. So the first link is going to be about there, second link is going to be about the other end. There. So that's one. So the water trough now works in that direction. To make it work in the other direction, if you want to do so, it doesn't matter where this thing is, by the way. You can, doesn't, it, you can put it there if you want to. Just shift to change the direction of the arrow. Put it down. Go and put the other one in. You need to make sure you get the arrow the right direction. So there it is. There. Pressing the shift key and holding it changes the arrow's direction. Put it at the end of the water trough, and that's it. That water trough is now in and working, and it uses the um, um, the marker to tell it when the trough starts and ends. Um, so, if I now drop train on, there's the water trough there. So we'll stick us a nice castle class down. And put a driver on it. This is a free roam, so we're just going to race forward. The um, water trough marker, Stephen Jam, is as technically a signal. But you can use the signal concept to do all sorts of things. Essentially, signals can send messages to trains for cab signalling and so forth. So you can put anything on the track um, you call it, if you design it, you can create entities which will tell, send messages to the train. And that's what this does. It tells it when the trough starts and ends. So if we now um, push forward and uh, get in the cab. Right, so I can operate that. Let's push that forward, shall we? When will this route be released? Uh, very shortly, uh, 34.99. Let's get some speed up. As we come round the corner, I'll cut the power off there. If we come round the corner, you'll see the troughs, uh, a trough will appear. There it is. Once we're over it, you can see that we're now picking up water. And we're in fact throwing it out the top. Close the uh, trough again. So that really is all there is to it. 
Let's do that again, but this time what we'll do is um, I'll reduce the water in the tender so that you can actually see it going up. Brixie UK, I'm joking. This route is not ever going to be released, ever. <laughs> Just for the avoidance of doubt. Right, let me throw a load of water down. We're only at 20% now, and then we run that scenario. Now, if I run it with the F4 HUD, you can clearly see what's going on with the tender, with, with the water level as well. So, 800 gallons. Speed up. We're looking for the. Uh, there's the water drop there. Right. Once we're over, I turn round and we'll get this going. Why are you not working now? Oh, did I bring it down too early and I broke it? <laughs> Let's try it one more time. It's always the problem, isn't it? Actually, what I'll do is I'll come out and I'll replay. Because anything to do with signals, you should never do it from restart or straight from the scenario editor. Things go bad. Always come back to the menu and do it that way. So I've got 800 gallons. Forward. Uh, get going. Too slow. Oh, I could be too slow. That's a good shout. Let's uh, get a decent speed up this time. Right, 45. We're definitely on to it. Ah, bar humbug. You saw the water flying out of it. Is there a key to do the water scoop? Uh, I don't know. I would hope there is. Can someone find out for me? <laughs> Control T. Let's have a look. What have I messed up here anyway? having any impact at all, is it? Did you put the marker thing? Yeah, we just were. We just had it working. It's bizarre. There's a marker thing. Right, let's go reset the scenario and then go back and double check the marker things. All it did was lower the amount of water in the tender. Bizarre. Let's have a look. Marker thing. There's marker thing one. And there's marker thing two. They're both pointing in the right direction. Marker one pointing in that direction. Marker two pointing in that direction. So, short answer is yes, the markers are correct. Let's check the engine.
has the scoop got a model? I don't remember. I don't think the in uh, it's uh, had the injector on. Yes, should that cause a problem? Yeah, I haven't had the injector on previously, so let's put it back up to 100 just to see what that does. Put the injector on and turn it off as we get there. So we're well and truly on. There you go. It filled us up as well. So that worked. Let's try that again now with um I'm curious now about why it didn't work when I lowered the amount of water in. Tender through a wobbly might actually put water in it, I know. <laughs> right, so let's put the tender at ninety percent. purposes it does actually work so um, in the normal cases and if you are to, so if you artificially change the amount of water in the tender then it's not going to work so let's put the water tender back up and just prove one more time that it does work and then we'll leave it at that and run away screaming um, yes I like trains this will go on YouTube so we'll put the tender back up to full see that was the sound if you listen to uh, that, if you listen to it, yeah, so when the water goes up, it plays a water sound. So when you play it um, from here, you get a lot of water sounds playing at once, which is what causes that strange noise. Right, so we've now put the water back to where it should be, and we'll run that. There you go, there's the water scoop. Right. Let's go. So I'm going to go a bit slower. I'm going to just empty the uh, tender out a little bit. It's not that, because it works fine. If I do it like now, you'll see that the... Um, it fills up the tender no trouble at all. You can see all the water effects coming off of the tender as well. So we've used 20 gallons. Let's get some speed. power and open up the tender and that doesn't work. Well. 
I think it's a timing thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it one more go, just to annoy a kinky, a kinky apple. Oh, GG, Forrest. Glad your uh, machine is working. That's really good. I was gutted to hear about that machi your machine problem. I think I'm being too fast to push it pulling the um, thing on. I think I'm being too fast putting it on. If we don't, well, Apple's jumped off a cliff, that means we don't have to play this scenario. Right, so we're well onto the thing now. Nope, that doesn't work either. It's definitely off. Ugh. You've seen it work. You've seen the process. I'm just doing it wrong, I guess. <clears throat> or either that or it doesn't like the fact that it's on a curve. It may be that it only works on the straight. Although I can't think why that would be the case. Never mind. Right. That's how you put water troughs um, and you remember this, so the stages are mark the track put the trough down as a loft um, setting the distance to 0 0.01 um, and then put um, the markers in the direct any directions you so if you only want the thing to work in one direction just put one marker down if you want it to buy be bi-directional you need to put both of them down or it won't work it'll only work in one direction all right then folks let's get on and do a kinky apple scenario before he has a fit and dies or something